Hi, I'm Parker. And I'm Ethan, and we're with Hook Security. Today we're gonna to play Two Fish in a Lie. We're gonna look at three emails from the same brand and try to figure out which two are the phishing and which one is the real email. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. All right, the first one looks like it's gonna be from Hulu. All right, we're looking at new sign into your account from Hulu at HuluMail.com. That's tricky because usually the sender address is pretty big dead giveaway that it could be real, but Hulu Mail. Apple uses that, uh, other you know. companies use that, so that's a close one. I mean, anytime it's anytime it's talking about, hey, there's a new sign on, anything like that, that could like freak out a little bit or make sure like you, I need to investigate this. Right now I'm thinking this is probably phishing, but let's look at the other two. I, I'm not casting my vote, don't hold me to this. I'm thinking this is the real I'm one. This, this is, is one, one of the real right. ones, so. Let's look at the second one. Okay. Hulu Community Refresher. This one just looks so boring. I feel yeah. like it's real. <laughs> I, I'm on the other side. I think this is gonna be funny because, like, I think it's so boring that uh, it, it also doesn't mean anything. I don't know what any of this means. So I feel like this. But is like, what what hackers out there is like? I know it just the plan. <laughs> I'm gonna send Hulu account to earn rewards. I mean, like, what yeah. are we looking at here? Complete acti Here's how it works. Now we can't see the sender address on this one, so yeah. we're just kind of going by the verbiage. Uh, I don't see a lot of typos. I'm not seeing much. All right, let's go to the next one. Here's the final one. Refund your account. Okay, this is uh, this is getting, okay, I, I'm, I'm done. I already figured this out. Yes. This is phishing. Uh, anytime they're asking for money, things like that, that's always a pretty big uh, red flag to be like, wait a minute. Also, subscriberrefund.com. Yeah, this Jeez, is phishing. Awesome. This is totally phishing. <laughs> Let's go back through them just to make sure. All right, oh. number one, HuluMail.com. I think that's fishing. That's my vote for the, it's the real one. That's, that's, that's my the real one, okay. Real one. Community refresher, I'm thinking this is real. I think it's fishing. And then this one's definitely fishing, we both agree. My hand still yeah. hurts, this is fishing. <laughs> All right, we get, we gotta know, Larkin, what is it? The one from HuluMail is the real one. Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah, that's the real one. <laughs> so they own that domain. That's a real Hulu. Wow. Maybe you should get Hulu. All right, so I'm the winner. I get I get the prize. I'm salty. We don't have a prize, so that's okay. Uh, I feel good about myself. Yeah. Next time I'll really give you that high five. All right, let's do round two. Round two, okay. T-Mobile. Okay, so this is a smish. Oh, okay, a okay. Smish it. Actually, I like this. It's not a phishing a, email. Actually, this is a media text message, an MMS, or this is a mamamish. <laughs> yeah, so I think we're looking at a mamamish here. Okay. Uh, SurgeonIJLaugh.com, $100 free gift. I'm gonna say this is a mamamish, uh, but what do you think? This is, this is, let me just, this is one of the problems with these kind of email, uh, email not emails, one of these smishing messages. I want to click on surgeonilaugh.com just because I want to know what that is. But everything in my heart tells me don't click on that because it's so obscure, so weird that it, this has got to be fishing. I'm, yeah. I, I lock it in. Yeah, fishing. Talk this up to mmmmish. <laughs> Next one. Okay, fishing. Your T-Mobile account information. Okay, I already see a few things. I think this is fishing. It says hi, Earthen, which is my brother. Erhan. Erthen, Erhan, and Ethan. Um, so that, that makes me feel like usually a, a misspelled word is a pretty good giveaway. Um, I know it seems like it's just a mistake and you know no no company would ever make a mistake. I'm looking at that sender address at the top there. Oh, digital-delivery. Um, they do send good food though. I love getting my digital food from digital From, from T-Mobile? Yeah. T-Mobile's is thing, always yeah. good with the deliveries. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think fishing for this as well, um, which makes the last one. It's gotta be real, right? It's gotta Let's be real. Ooh. 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 Ooh, I don't feel as good anymore. Ooh, okay. I don't feel as good anymore. Right off the bat. Uh, weird center address, weird uh, to address. Uh, you hate you hate to see the red lock with the slash in it. Yeah. You just hate to see that on anything. The the GIF, the, the PNG here or whatever, this congratulation. Customer number. I hate this, I hate everything about it. Okay. It thinks I it's French. Gmail thinks this email is in French. The grammar is so bad, it's like, it must be French. Yeah, it's got to be French. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but now we've got a problem, Ethan. We think all of these are fishing. Or one is Mamma Mish. I'm sorry. Customer. Costumer. All right. Well, Ethan, we've got a problem. Yeah, we, we think all problem. of these are fishing. 
two well, at least two fishing and one mama mission. Yeah, let's so. real quick, let's review because that's the first one, or that's this is the last that one. from AOL.com. This is another one from Digital Delivery, and now I'm like, maybe companies misspell words, companies that make errors, so maybe Erhan might be a name too. You're yeah. being selfish. You think this is to you, Ethan. Yeah, yeah. It maybe Erhan's missing an email. Um just because of the nature of the game, I'm going one, three fishing, and I'm saying two is the real one, and we just don't know. I'm going, in the interest of being wrong, mm -hmm. I'm You're going the, the third one, the, the, this congratulations. Actually, I'm seeing the, is it an extra square in the logo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one, I think this is so fake, it's real. So, congrats <laughs> to the intern that tried to throw this together on their first week at Team Ups. I'm going three as the fake email. You're going two as, yeah. the, uh, as, two, the, two as the, the real the email. Real. I'm going three as the real email. All right, here, let's hear it. Give it to us, Larkin. The Your Team Mobile account information is the real one. That's me! Number two! Two for two. Yeah, you're two and a half. I'm killing it! Uh, to all the Urhans out there, I'm sorry, I apologize. As an Ethan, I didn't mean to put you down, I'm sorry. So digital delivery, that's T-Mobile. We're learning a lot about They're buying those giant uh, brands buying yeah. weird domains. As we said, we love brands, big brands. Yeah, someone sent that to their Twitter and they said, yeah, that was us. Wow, How about so that? they sent it saying, someone yeah. was trying to check if it was a phishing yeah. email. Good on. Shout out. See, there is some good in Twitter. All right, here we go. Here's another one. Another brand. Uh-oh. We all know this one. Apple. Apple. The all big right. dogs. Here we go. Let's look. Your Apple ID account was used to sign into Safari on iPhone 6. Ooh. $64 on the App Store. My biggest issue is who's using an iPhone 6? Who's still rocking that Man. thing? I don't think they work anymore. I think Apple just like pushes the button and they shut it all down. I mean, in terms of phishing, this is this is doing a couple things that tend to work and people tend to do. Urgency, confusion, like, hey, I didn't do that. I didn't sign into Safari. I probably don't have an iPhone 6. Uh, and I definitely didn't make a $64 purchase. I, Maybe they did, but. Unless you're a parent and you're like, you know, you're calling your kids down, who's got the iPad, who just bought $64 of and whatever. And drowning in Candy Crush. <laughs> Um, all right. I'm, I'm torn between this. I think it could be fishing. I'm not going to cast the let's vote. Let's go. Let's go real. I'm, I'm going to say real for now. You going to call that yeah, one real? Yeah, let's look at that next one. Oh, here's another one. Oh, Apple, they always look crisp and clean. So, mail.apple, maybe. That's the sender address. I always want to check that. Um, yeah, again, this is, this is pointing out a purchase that the person has made. But this seems to have a lot of like good uh, information. We're looking at email.apple.com. That seems legit. Uh, Land Glide. I don't know names. Yes. Also, like if you look, this is a really clear, high quality email. Apple's not going to send you something pixelated where you can't really read it. This this looks pretty. I'm I'm pretty much leaning pretty strong on this unless we get something yeah. on the next one. I think this is. Wait. Do we think these are both real? No, I was saying we I didn't know the, the first one, one uh, but now that I've seen this one, I'm much more inclined to say I'm going to lock these in. I think the first, first one's real. Fishing. I think they're both real. Support. <laughs> iCloud account limited for security reasons. Dear customer. Okay. Lack of personalization. This screams phishing. Look at that button, dude. Yeah, Come it's like Apple. shifted. That's not an Apple button. If Look you that see that button that and button. it doesn't instantly bother you, you have an issue. Mm, it should yeah. like make your skin yeah. crawl. Oh, I can't even hardly look at it. All right, I think this is fishing. I'm saying one and three are fishing. Two is the real one. I think two is the real one. You did this last time. Fake. You thought two right, were real. You know what? I'm going to join in with you. Okay. We're going to link Good together job. and guess the second one is the real email. So the real one is the subscription confirmation for Landline. Yes. We're good at this. We should work. At a cybersecurity company. Yeah, yeah, we're we good. Help people figure out how to yeah. spot phishing emails. It's too clean, wild. you know. It's just too clean. It's too clean of an email. It looks yeah. too good. All right, next. Here we go. Oh, Amazon. Amazon. We're all about the brands. We got the big brands. Love brands. <laughs> uh, let's see. Amazon help at markyourtrails.com. Not loving that. Uh, large shipment, like a large amount spent. Yeah. Fifteen hundred bucks. I mean, it is an Apple iMac. Shout out to whoever ordered this. I don't think anybody actually ordered this because I think it's fishing. The sender address is always something to look at. Um, that's the first place my eyes go in any email. 
that that has me suspicious and so um I, yeah i think this is fishing um though it looks really good um and again it might just do enough to make you click which is sometimes all they're after they don't have to make you know that it's real they just want you curious enough to click on it so dangerous but i'm gonna green uh, i think it's fishing yep i think so too all right next okay we're looking at auto dash confirm at amazon.com that seems to check out uh, thank you for shopping. Here's your order number. It doesn't say what they yeah. ordered. But it does say what people also bought, like Queen of Myth and Monsters. Mm -hmm. And these hollow vowels. So whatever it was, someone's into like mythology and creatures. I mean, if we look at these two back to back, this one feels more real than that one. Yeah. So luckily we can kind of compare these. That looks pretty real. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a green. It's it's very real. I want to see the last one before I lock down these boats here. So okay, here we go. Oh wow, this is this is a long subject, right? We got monthly statement, confirmation notice, information. This is a lot. Like this is an overload. And again, sometimes that confusion is all they're trying to do. They're just trying to get you uh, flustered, if you will. But is this just French? <laughs> Confirmation change les mots pas tard et vous tarez compte. Very good. But look, I mean, look at this. Okay, so here, here's something interesting. Okay. You've got this. Here's the sender address, which yeah. is xmlt mxl.info, and then it's saying the name is account dash alert at oh, Amazon. Oh, so sometimes that sender address can be tricky. It's right. Looks you can say real. who it's from, but when you're looking at the actual sending mm -hmm. domain, that looks weird hate this one yeah but, um good good pickup on that because i would have immediately looked at amazon.com like i was saying earlier yeah. and gone oh it's real it's legit but they can even fake that they can even make it look they can't fake that it's coming from amazon.com they can't fake the real sender address but they can fake who it's coming from the name on yeah. it so also we're looking at lack of personalization hello dear customer flatter but Seems hey, Amazon thing. knows my name. Yeah, they're exactly. Not, they're not customer. And I have no me. problems with my account. I'm in good standing with the bays. Uh, and then please is has a uh, lowercase so p please, there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna say fishing. Let's go back through them. Okay. So we think number one is fishing. We think number two is real. Real. Yeah, it looks real. And we think number three is fishing. So we're gonna say number two is the real one again. I think we got it. Yeah. Yes. I'm also noticing a trend here. Yeah. There is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, let's go on to the next one. This is the last one we got, so let's take a look at it. This is uh, this is another brand, Credit Karma. Uh, I don't like to check any emails when it talks about my credit, so I just delete these and walk away and pray for the best. Um, I'm kidding. Here we go. Let's look at these. Huh. What do we got here? All right, so we're looking at Credit Karma support, name checks out, sender address, uinfo.co. I don't know Credit Karma enough to say that's not a, a domain that they have, that they use for, for these kind of things. So uh, Uinfo might be something they have. This is a tricky one. This is really, really kind of difficult to pinpoint right at the start. Uh, I'm not seeing really any misspelled words. I'm not the best speller though, so there could be a misspelled word in there. I agree with you. You're right. I'm deleting this email either way. I don't have bad credit if I don't know my credit. So yeah. we're going to leave this one be. But I, I do think it's probably phishing. Okay. Well, again, no personalization. Again, the urgency around, hey, there's something new on your credit report. And the U info, we just don't know. Hmm. So that's something we could go Google, but you know, on right now. The first few, the bigger the brand, I feel like the more comfortable I am knowing where it came from. I get emails from Amazon all the time, For Apple, sure. things, those kind of things. Something like this is going to be really hard to tell. So I'm interested to see the next two. All right. We're looking at no reply at support.creditcomma.co.uk. So this one is from Britain. Okay, <laughs> blank. Sorry you Where struggled is it from? to log I, in. Britain. Yeah. Help accessing your account. Okay. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. All right, Pretty let's good. take a look at this. This is an accent. All right. Uh, if you're having trouble with your password, reset it now. Get back all your free credit information. Urgency, right? They're trying to pull you in. They're trying to make you feel like if you don't do something, you're going to lose all your free credit information. So uh, I'm leaning just from the way this looks, the layout, I'm leaning towards phishing. I'm gonna say this one is real. I'm gonna say it's real. Pass like password reset emails do exist. Mm -hmm. This doesn't say somebody logged in. It says you tried to log in. So sometimes I get helpful emails like this from you know random companies. And so if somebody tried to get into my account and it wasn't me, I can take the the necessary steps to reset that password, uh, alert them, let them know. So. 
For now, I'm gonna say it's real, but let's look at the third. What worries me is like, I feel like you know something and you wanna win, and you're not telling me something in there, so. No, I'm All just- All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm just the, uh, me and the British are, are tight, and this feels real. All right, you, I'll Protect let you take this one. your account. Update your personal information. Again, these are normal. Like, you get these all the time. Uh, I don't know about that uh, sender address, reminder7.creditkarma.com. That seems a little sketchy. Um, I'm looking around. The, my, my issue is, uh, wait a minute. <coughs> let me look at something. <coughs> we need you to confirm your personal data, including your name, address, date of birth, social security uh, number, to ensure yeah. you're protected every time you log in. Right away. Right, right away. now, that's another. So, so uh, they're not gonna ask you for this. They, they should have this um, on file. They, they're not gonna just email you and say, we need all your info that would get us exactly. into access information, data, and cash from your accounts. So yeah, this is this is a pretty big red flag for me. Yeah. Just like we said with the last one, I appreciated that it said, someone tried to log in, but they didn't make it in. So shout out to Credit Karma on that. Here on this one, we saw an unauthorized login, an unrecognized device. We have your back. Like, yeah, this one just feels weird. So I'm gonna say the third one is uh, phishing. I'm also gonna say this first one is phishing. Okay. Because of the uinfo.co that we're looking at the uh, the urgency in the email, the sender address. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna say one's. Uh, real. I think two and three are the phishing ones. So here we go. Okay, this is a big moment. I'm gonna say number two is is real. From the UK, that's .co.uk. That was real. Ah, oh, you are in with the British. That's a that's yep. everyone knows that about you. Yep, mate. <laughs> All right, that's been it for Two Fish and a Lie. Hope you learned something. Hope you were able to look at some of these emails, play along with us, see what was real, see what was fake. I think we ended up in a tie. I think maybe the score will be down here, but maybe a tie, two, two, I think three, I won. For some reason, All I All right, like I'll I give you the win. All right. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Parker. And I'm Ethan. And we like to say here at Hook, let's stay aware out there.